Hello everyone and welcome to the gospel with Ishmael and I believe this video can help somebody. Please avoid this mistake, okay? I, I'm sending this video so that you can avoid making this huge mistake because if you do this, this can probably happen. I want you to stay on your right lane, on the presence of the Lord, with the direction of God, no matter how tempting it may be. If it resonates you, please take this further before the Lord, okay? No matter how tempting it might be, no matter how difficult, stay in the right lane because this actually happens when you get out. When God says, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool, for example, this is an example, the scripture of what I'm trying to explain here, okay? Psalms 110 verse 1. It's like, listen, if you are to get out of the presence of God, there are some things you won't get if you make a mistake. If you get out of where God has placed you, when the time for blessings come, some blessings, they can only happen when you are at this location. When you are still stuck with this person or this friend. That's why sometimes you find that a person who was responsible for your breakthrough or who told you about a job that you ended up applying and getting it, it was somebody, maybe a friend. Imagine if you were not a friend of that person. Imagine if you were not at that church. You only got blessed after that day in that church when that person met you. They are the one who spoke about this thing and you try to uh, pursue it and you, you obtained it because you pursued after hearing it from when you were at this place. So listen, whatever you do, whatever situation, this is just an example that I gave you. What I'm saying is like some mistakes are not meant to be made or else everything is going to change. You are not supposed to make that mistake. King David, when he slept with Bathsheba, perhaps, remember they had Solomon, he had Solomon with Bathsheba. Whence we can say that possibly at the end of the day, King Solomon could have come out out of King David and Bathsheba. Meaning there is a chance that at the end of the day, remember that the husband of Bathsheba was someone who was always in, in battles. If King David had not killed him, possibly he would have died by some other means and David would have been able to get Bathsheba the right way just because her husband has passed away. But King David, he rushed. He did not even wait for the right time of God. Of course, we don't know how it could have happened, but I'm just trying to guess that perhaps it could have still happened only if he had been patient enough. But he could not help it. He could not wait and listen and look he ended up making a big mistake hallelujah what i'm trying to say is it is easy to make a mistake when you're walking with god it is easy to do things stupid things that will end up cost, costing you big time so don't make a mistake because remember it can even ruin a lot of things in your life it can ruin your future it can ruin where you're supposed to go moses made a mistake when he hit the rock instead of speaking unto the rock and God was angry and was like, you won't enter Canaan. Listen, there are mistakes that you can recover from and there are some mistakes you can never recover from. So never ever always walk and say, the grace will help me, the grace will help me. No, let a mistake be a mistake and let don't, don't, don't let something be deliberate because some things you will never ever recover from. Let a mistake remains a mistake. And if things is not a mistake, then let it be that thing that try by all means to avoid. And you realize you walk nicely. As a person, you always make mistakes, but let a mistake be a mistake, okay? Allow me to conclude this video here. And that's all I had. My details take the description of the video below. I will see you next time. Bye.